Hi everyone, it's Henry Purchase here. And in this video, I'm going to take you through optimizing your images for SEO on Squarespace. And I think this is one of the most commonly talked about and sometimes most frustrating of Squarespace SEO because Squarespace SEO actually recommends to compress your images below 500 kilobytes. But if you look across what SEO experts say across the internet, including most respected SEO experts, you will often see that they say lower than 100 kilobytes. However, due to Squarespace's image hosting system, it's actually really difficult to compress images below 100 kilobytes. So I always recommend for SEO to compress your images below 250 kilobytes. It's lower than what Squarespace recommends, but I think especially with Squarespace having a slower page loading speed, you want to do absolutely everything that you can in order to make sure you're doing your best to follow Squarespace SEO best practices, which in our case, we flag all images that are greater than 250 kilobytes. And what I'm going to take you through in this video is exactly how I compress images on Squarespace, showing you the software that I use to compress my images. I'm then also going to take through one of the most frustrating things that you might see on Squarespace and one of the things that we get asked the most about compressing images. Now, the first thing that I want you to do, I always like to use SEO space on the Squarespace editor just because I can make changes all in one window. And as you can see here, this is actually the home page of SEO space before the launch of SEO space version two. So I've got lots of work to do to improve the SEO. And as you can see here, SEO space is highlighting all the images that are greater than 250 kilobytes. And all you have to do is hover over the image, click on it, and SEO space is going to take you to exactly where that image is. Now, the easiest way that I find to actually get the image in the first place is then go to the live web page, scroll to where that image is. And as you can see here, sometimes you can't actually download the image directly from Squarespace by right clicking. If that is the case, you can just go to inspect. If not, you can press save as. And I'm just going to, for the purpose of this video, you, you most likely won't have to do this when you do it, but I'm just going to copy the URL of this image, put it into a new window, right click and press save as. And once you press saved as, once you've saved the image that you want to compress, I want you to head over to imagecompressor.com. All you then need to do is drag and drop the image you want to compress into this, then make sure that the compressed version is lower than 250 kilobytes, which as you can see it is here. Press download and then it's ready to re-upload that image to Squarespace. And all I do is compress this. This is the SEO issues on the SEO space dashboard. So when I replace it, I'm just going to rename the file. So I'm just going to rename it um, SEO space dashboard SEO tasks. So I've given it an appropriate name. I've essentially described what is there. I'm also going to add an alt tag, which is something for another video. Head over to the image alt tag optimization video to learn more about that. But I've essentially, I've compressed the image below 250 kilobytes. I've named it appropriately and I've re-uploaded it to my Squarespace website. So hopefully it will be below 250 kilobytes. So all I need to do is press save, go back to SEO space, press rescan. So as you can see here, SEO space is going to go back through my Squarespace web page and hopefully tell me that this image has been compressed. Now that the rescan has finished, you're going to see one of two things. You're either going to see that image is now successfully compressed below 250 kilobytes, and you can go ahead and complete the optimization on the rest of your website, or you're going to see that that image still remains within SEO space. So as you can see here, the image is still showing as needing to be compressed. Now that actually isn't a problem with SEO space. It is a problem with Squarespace that is really frustrating. Squarespace has its own image compression algorithm. And sometimes when you upload a compressed image to Squarespace, Squarespace will actually bloat it and increase the size of the image that you've uploaded. So as you can see, when I uploaded this image, it should have been below 100 kilobytes. But when I re-uploaded it to Squarespace, Squarespace actually increased it to 280 kilobytes. So super, super frustrating. And if you're unsure about this, and if you want to test whether SEO space or Squarespace is, is accurate, because sometimes in the Squarespace media library, Squarespace will say the image size is lower than 250 kilobytes. 
if you really want to check what you should do is go and download the image save it and then and all you need to do is head over to desktop so as you can see here this is the image that i've just compressed and if i go over to the size you can see it's 286 kilobytes so even though we compressed it to 93 kilobytes even though we re, -re uploaded it to squarespace squarespace actually increased the size of the image and again if you don't believe me here was the original image and you can see it was 95 kilobytes so super super frustrating However, it is worth trialing and erroring because Squarespace doesn't do it all the time. It is possible to get your images below 250 kilobytes. And of course, every time you do this, make sure you press save and then rescan your Squarespace web page in order to get your updated results. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to add them in the comments below. And I hope you have a fantastic experience using SEO Space.